Hey guys, Marshall here from Luna Resources, and I have, well, I've got B Wong with me too. Hey B. Hey, what's up? So let's uh, let's do some BNG draft. This is a little, uh, we'll have a little fun with this one. What do you like out of this pack? We've got Perplexing Chimera for our rare. Uh, uh, pretty sure it's hammer time. You like hammer. There's also Retraction Helix, though, which certainly catches my eye. There's really? Bolt of Karanos. Yeah, I, I just Serpent. think the, the most powerful card and the most flashable card is Follow the Hammer. Okay, we'll take it. And, wow, we get shipped an Ornithark here. <laughs> well, we, we, we can't say no to that. The rare is... Is still here. And there's a foil, so they took a common. Yeah, they took a common over Ornithark. Is there a common you'd take over Ornithark in this set? No, not even close. Not for me either. Yeah. I mean, there's some decent stuff. There's an Asphyxiate here. There's an Oracle's Inside, a Flitter Step. But... So, the thing is, doesn't this just make you nervous as hell? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, uh, we just did it. Like, this is what I hate to do. The last time I did this, it ended horribly for me where, like, I somehow won the first round but was playing somebody else playing white and then lost to another person playing white in the second round. Like, it was terrible. Uh, okay, so I see, I'm see. i looking like here at Siren and Elite Skirmisher. What about Kragma Butcher? Uh, you like the the Butcher more than the Skirmisher? Eh, I, I think they're comparable. Um, I, I, I mean, out of this pack, I actually like Siren the, boat the best. Yeah, I think if I, was, if I was picking between the white cards, my tiebreaker would be I care more about my Ornithark than I do about my Butcher, so I'd be more likely to pick the white card. Oh, you mean sense. about your fall? Yeah. That's what okay. I, mean. um, I think Siren actually makes sense, though. I, I like Siren the best here. I mean, th honestly, though, I'm just looking for an excuse to not do this. <laughs> like, Because I, I, if this deck comes together, I love it. Okay. Yeah, let, let's, let's take Siren. But... Oh, boy. Maybe not. Wow. Yeah, we back on white-red. No, it's a trap. See, I'm telling you. this. Why is, is it a trap? trap. This, this is, is not best. how this format works. You do not just get these cards this late and then have everything just work out for you. <laughs> I've learned Jeez. this lesson. Though, but we're not passing these. Like, I, I would yeah. take this myself because yeah. it's a little bit of a hedge. I agree. Yeah, Phalanx. Yeah. I, I just think it's also just maybe better. I think so, too. Okay, now I think we take Butcher... You like Butcher or Chorus of Tides? Well, if we take Chorus, what are we trying to do? We're trying to be blue-white. But why'd we take... I don't know. The Phalanx isn't good in blue-white. It's like, fine. Uh, let's be white-red, Marshall. I think we can do it. I believe. Okay. All right. We'll do have it. Have some faith. Have some faith. I have none. I, I Just just for the record, I have no, no faith. Like This will end in a horrible train wreck for us. We'll win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's a powerful I, I've deck. learned this lesson too many times. Every time I go, okay, this is the one. It's finally back again. It's the the, the format has fun come full circle. This happens, and then we're in the next two packs. We're getting nothing. What do you like here? Uh, I like the Reveler. Just uh, I mean, doesn't this just make you sad? Oh, not really. I mean, look at the rest of the pack. I mean, what do we sat on passing Snake and Vortex Elemental? Like those cards are fine, but I'm it's sad. not like we're. I'm, I'm definitely sad on passing Vortex Elemental. Okay, but that's just because I like it. All right, well, we can hedge back with our with the Hypnotist here. Oh, great. Okay, here's a couple of good cards in red. Hmm. Let's see, look our creature count. Uh, yeah, which do you prefer? Six. Uh, you know, it's funny because I, I think it, early on I would have told you that the Rollicker is like just way better, but I actually think they're very close now. Um, generally, I still do take the Rollicker over Rise to the Challenge just because I do hope to pick up um, some more good white cards in the future. But I mean, I think it's really coin flippy. I don't think we can really go wrong here. Mm, I think I prefer Rise, but all right, we'll take Rise. Uh, let's, I want to take the liar. Okay. Yeah, I don't think, feel like we're missing out with on much. I don't think so either. Ah, okay. So, giant or another reveler? Yeah, I like giant here myself. Uh, second reveler is pretty mediocre. We're certainly hoping to upgrade our two drops beyond reckless revelers. Okay. Uh, not that I love giant that much, but I like mixing it up a little bit. Uh, two rises are playable. I think we could do that. Okay. I don't. I, I don't think Dreamfinder has any home in white red. No. Uh, just take the rare because yeah. it's worth a penny. Oh, the five two ain't bad. Yeah. There's, there's worse things than that. Oh, definitely. Okay. Like that's. Dare I say it gives me a glimmer of hope here. <laughs> Although the white seems to have abandoned us a bit. 
Did someone take a Sky Guard and pass this Ornithark? Because that's crazy. I've heard people that, that said that they would like to do that. I don't agree with them, but that's what they say. I feel like we should petition to have them retroactively removed from the draft. <laughs> the thing is, I want to know really badly now. What did they take? <clears throat> and we'll never know. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. I can't even make an argument for another comment over it. Like, if you had a strong opinion about like just black being underdrafted, you take asphyxiate. But that was there. Hmm. Look what we found. We found that. Um, how much do you care about the money value of Xenagos? Um, uh, otherwise, we're taking a wing steed, I think. I guess it depends on what it is. Uh, let me look. I, yeah, I can find it real quick. I'm looking it up already. Okay. Yeah, you could probably sell it for a three and a half. Xenagos the Reveler, 571. So, yeah, it sells for probably four ish. I mean, normally uh, I would just take it. See. Um, but since we're doing a video, I can be, I, I'm willing to be talked out of taking it. Um, you want to take Wink Seed Rider? God, you're just reckless. That's what you are, Brian Wong. You're Why reckless. is that reckless? We have a, an Ornithar and a Crone Phalanx. It's never, you just don't know when to let the dream die. All right, we'll do it. Yeah. It's Th good. This is the pack for us to pick up white if we're doing it, so. Okay, how's our curve? Um, here's your here's your old buddy Borderland Minotaur. There's also a Lagana Ban Elder here. I like Borderland Minotaur. Griptide's the best card in the pack, I think. Yeah, it's not like we're missing out on much in this pack. Right. Mm. Um. Mm. Not much here either. Yeah. This pack's just sort of mediocre. I mean, there's a Voyaging Seder, which is enticing. Robo Elmer. Huh? <laughs> it's so not good in white or red. No, it's not. Man. Have you been Evangel Man before? Yes. It's actually kind of fun sometimes, but you have to get uh, like a Phalanx Leader or a Spirit of Heliod. Yes. Which is hard to bank on. Yeah. Although, I, I don't know if there's a better card here than Evangel for us. Yeah, we probably take it. It's also good with our uh, Akron Phalanx. Right. All right. Okay, we got something. Yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah. I like the. I'll say it over the rage here by a large margin. Me too. Hmm. Um, is, is it time to get ill? Are we just Lagana Ban Eldering? There's also a Battlewise Valor, though. I feel like these two Rise of the Challenges are. Yeah, I think I think that makes us want the Cyclops. Okay. But we need to be really mindful of our early drops. So I think we take the Philosopher. Philosopher or Pegasus? Uh, we've got. One human that already flies. Yeah, we don't have any other humans yet. Or this is a human, right? Yeah, that's a human. Yeah, I, I just prefer the, the two power to the one power by a lot. Okay. Another Voyaging Seater, by the way. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Got some stuff here. Yeah, I'm... Chosen by Heliod, generally pretty strong in a deck like this. Another Ill-Tempered Cyclops is fine. Spearpoint Oread's fine. I'm leaning towards Oriad just to help our mana curve. Okay. Um, the cycle. Yeah, there we go. I like that. How did you do that? <laughs> Jeez, Marcel, you gotta have a. Lo this pack is loaded though. See, there's a Battlewise Hopla and Nylia's Disciple. I'm guessing they're just a strong pack. Yeah, you're probably right. Um. Well, take Unicorn in case we want to splash something. I'm not sure what that thing would be. Oh, yeah. Elder. Nice. Okay. We'll wield the Elder. I like that. Sure. Sideboard card. Okay, this is coming around. The The thing about um, this tiny kind of deck is it doesn't necessarily need to be that insane to win. That is true. That's a good point. And, and this one is definitely not that insane. Yeah, our, so our, our early curve is fairly awful. Yeah, I, I would have probably taken the other Revolver. Yeah, I guess we need it now. Yeah. Just because you're just looking for a critical mass of twos, you really want like at least five, probably four or five. This card is so mediocre. Really? I, I mean, I don't, I don't. I mean, there's a whole bunch of just random two it's power. It's like never dudes. actually killed an artifact. It doesn't need to. It's a two mana two one. Yeah. Um, I like yeah. Skullcleaver. 
it's we just I mean, opened a bad pack for us but i mean <laughs> you you somehow figured out that the only white or red card in this pack is the one we're taking i like yeah. <laughs> look I at mean, this pack look at that pack it's at insane. least we at least we got a non-color card i know <laughs> so we were dangerously close to just bricking fully here but can't, can't, we, can't we your blessings to, to pull away uh, emissary or snare caster so here's the the curve question right because snare caster obviously fits in our curve better but emissary is quite a bit more powerful yeah i think we can take the emissary i think so too also it allows us to probably cut that cyclops of one eyes pass but we really need to to get some twos yeah, we need some twos, right? I mean, like, what's our what are our number one concerns here? Two drops, and removal. Oh, if we could get a kill spell, that'd be nice. Yeah, like we don't have any lightning strikes or anything like that yet. All right. Hmm. We got a two drop, sort of. It only costs yeah. one mana. Yeah, I think the soldier's just better than the arena athlete. I think it is too. Yeah. And we might actually wheel something here. Like we could easily wheel this Seder Rambler. Yeah. The arena athlete and chosen by Heliod are less likely, but still possible. Hmm. Uh, I think I like the other Skull Cleaver. Yes, this one here, right? Yeah. You sure you don't want to shelly it up a little, buddy? Shelly? No? Uh. Yeah. Yep. We have 19 creatures now, by the way. Good. Uh, creatures are important. Do you like uh, Verdict or Titan Strength here? I like Verdict by a lot. Me too. Oh, hey, there's our the same pack. There's another two. Take yeah. that arena athlete. Things are coming together, Marshall. Yeah. Uh, do you like Ray of Dissolution or Bronze Sable here? Um, I actually you kind need, of like Bronze need, Sable. I mean, need twos. just because of the, the chance that we... I think the, the situation where we want Bronze Sable is more important than the situation where we want Ray of Dissolution. Right. You know, it's like we probably won't want it, but we might. Totally. Um, hmm, probably Crusader here, right? How heroic are we? We are. We're mildly heroic. Like we've I, got. Um, we're, we're probably not playing it either way. No, probably not. I think that actually makes us want the Priest of Eros. I okay. think that's actually better for us. Just because we can board it in or whatever. I mean, I just think it would even be a better main deck choice than the than the Crusader in, the, in this deck. Okay, like, I mean, we do. We have double rise to the challenge. Fall the hammer obviously doesn't really hit it very well. I mean, are we just firing off the rise on turn two? Like, I don't really want to do that. Right. And other than that, we have. Uh, so this is the, our our pack that we opened. It has yeah, nothing. This is um, we opened. Probably the cutthroat maneuver is the best thing against us. Probably, yeah. Um, I think I like the other priest as well. Really? Just because I. Well, I mean, what else? We wouldn't ever play any of the other cards no but i would cut i would cut and or have this around before just having a random second priest that we're just like literal never playing this it's card's not. kind of good against us i mean like against a deck with multiple really good enchantments like i think you just make your deck worse by playing this no but if they have like whip and bow or something like that then i think we're bringing it in there's there, there are you think we could bring both in sure i i see i disagree with you there because i think if we bring those in what happens is is we just lose to their other cards. Maybe. You know how many times I've played Satess and Griffin in, in non-green decks? How many? <laughs> Multiple times. Oh, no. <laughs> You've sometimes, got a checkered history with it. Sometimes you win, man. It's only overcosted by one mana. That is true. And if it, if it was four mana, it would be kind of good. Okay, so we have a mana curve. We have some stuff. We made a deck. I will give you that. I know you don't think it's exciting, but this type of deck wins a lot. Yeah, maybe in your hands it does, but uh, in this mortal's hands it's less good. Um, I don't know about Evangel yet. Yeah, we'll I'm going to put it in the maybe pile here. Yeah, we definitely want both rises. Yeah, th those double skull cleavers are nice pickups too, I think. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, so we don't have to feel bad about not taking the, the Reveler because we um, did pick up enough twos. Indeed. 
All right, so there's 23 right there, and I've got the maybe pile of Faragax, Giant, Cyclops, and one eye Pass, uh, Evangel of Heliod, Bronze Sable. Okay. Uh, if it was just me, I would also consider the Wild Celebrant as a maybe. But Okay, we'll put that in uh, the maybe pile as well. But I think as we are, our deck is probably right. Yeah, let me uh, let me bust it out here and see what, we, what we've got. Uh, so... We've got 19 creatures here, which is pretty good. Yeah, I wish we had one more trick. Oh, well. Probably, yes. in in hindsight, I guess, um, we, if we had taken one of the Battlewise Valors, we would have been better off. Yeah, we, we did pick but, pretty reasonable things over it right, at the time. Right. Yeah, it's a tough one to say. Um, are we aggressive enough to, to capitalize on Faragax Giant? Um, Do we care to do we want siren song liar pretty slow in a deck like this yeah i don't, I don't think we need the liar um i feel I like mean, if we could yeah like you said we want one more trick or a removal spell or something like 19 creatures you know if they put out if they put out like a snake yeah so we have the ornithark and spare point aria had an emissary and to, mm -hmm. could po possibly punch through that we have divine verdict that's true we've um, also got oh yeah where's yeah. the verdict Where'd Verdict go? There we go. Yeah. I mean, we, we have we have some tools against a board stall. We can still win. Okay. So do you like this build? I think so. The only, the only one I, I'd consider is Faragax Giant just because um, it really does play well in aggressive curve decks, like where you're just like, hit you, hit you, hit you, and then they sort of get there. This The five damage can really matter. The thing I don't like about it here is that... Uh, we don't have any burn, like because sometimes you can get them to eight or whatever, and then they'll take the five, and then you have outs to like your lightning strike or your bolt of Kyrnos, and we just don't have any of that. So right. I'd right. probably just leave it like this myself. Yeah, I like this build. Um, okay. The the good thing about nineteen creatures is we have a like, Crown Phalanx, which can also break board stalls. It's just oh, yeah. play more stuff than they have, and you send in a big attack, and all their stuff is gonna die, and you're gonna have stuff left over. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, let's add some lands here. So let's see what Moto says. Moto says nine, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's nine. It want, it actually wants us to do nine mountains, but just look. Just taking an initial look, we have two white one drops. Give me a piles by color so I can look at that real quick too. All right. Hmm. We have 12 white mana symbols and 14 red. But, you know, have you ever seen, I, I can't remember if I showed you this, what I do when I break these things down for my videos normally. I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll pile them by where I actually feel like I'm going to cast them. Right, right. Yeah, because, you know, like we, we play enough limited to have an idea for that kind of thing. So like, not only do I, I mean, of course I'll move like these things over just because like, I really do plan on bestowing them, but like, uh, there's a lot of cards. Like, for example, let's say we had a God's willing. Well, that's not a one drop, right? You're mm -hmm. never like turn one God's willing. You're probably turned four or turn five. So I'll move it over somewhere in this range. Rise to the challenge is a good example. It's not a two. Uh, there will be a couple of times when we do that, but it'll be very rare. So more often than not, it'll probably be like, maybe three and four or four and five is when we end up actually playing our rise to the challenge. Follow the hammer, same thing. It's probably going to, we're probably going to end up following the hammer or something on turn five or so. Um, these are both actual one drops. These are all twos. These are all threes. This, our, this deck is actually just very straightforward in this way. Yeah. You know, it, this can, this could be here or here. I'm going to keep it here, but you know, I, I do think it's important to take a look at what your curve is as far as timing as well as just like outright number of mana symbols or whatever, because you some decks you'll find are way different than they look when you just uh, sort by converted mana cost, and you'll need you know a lot of heavy black at the beginning, even though you thought that it was green because you had like a couple of green creatures or something like that. Uh, this one thing, looks pretty straightforward though. Is the other thing I look at is sometimes uh, I look for reasons why I, I need more than one of a color of mana. So that might be that I want to cast two spells of that color in a turn. So like mm. that I could cast a rise and then one of my red two drops in a turn on turn four or something okay. like that. Right. So I would consider something like that. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I would lean, I would go nine, eight white myself here, but I think that we could pretty much split it either way. The white 
getting the nod because we have two white one drops and a wingsteed rider on three where for the whole early section of the game all we need is one red mana to be able to cast at least the spells from our hand um so that that's what i would do what would you do Mm, it's so close to me i think it's like it's it's basically a coin flip which you pick i i Kind yeah. of don't have a strong opinion either way. <laughs> yeah, me neither, and that, that that's why I'm I'm doing it like as a tiebreaker, basically. Like th- th- this is not like a. It's clearly white. This is a like. Well, we've got two white one drops. We'd like those on turn one. I guess we'll go white. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. So let's submit this thing and see what it can do. <laughs> 